Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Uh, to, we have been doing a series on a player from every team, I like to call it. Or Actually, I just thought of it right now. <laughs> but we did uh, who is the most underrated player from every team. We did what's the t- player with the most likely chance of a breakout season. You can check them out in my other videos. Maybe I'll put them down in the comment section. I'll link them there, so I'll make it easy for you. This game time, we are going a player who is the, this is tough, who is the second best player right now on every team? The second best player, not including goaltenders. Okay. This isn't the second best career. This isn't the, you know, it's the second best player now. So if he's, if a player was great forever, and uh, like say Ryan Getzloff in Anaheim, and now he's not as good as he used to be. That doesn't count. We're talking about who is the best, second best player right now, and it's all part of the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. Do you like all four teams? Steel Fly, Steel www.steelflyers.com. Do you like all four major uh, sports in American sports? And do you like teams on those four major sports? We treat them all equally here at Steel Flyers. All Sports Network, and we're looking for creators for those as well. We have some new ones coming in. Football season started. Get over there. Check it out. It's pretty fun. But if you're looking to be a creator, comment in the comment section here, and uh, you never know. You make a little coin, make a little money talking about sports. I'm well with that. The NHL Pearl of Wisdom show is also what I do. Uh, that is going to be on... Uh, that's on five days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 3 till 5 Eastern, and Tuesday and Thursday from 7.30 at night till 9.30 at night Eastern. Go check it out. We can banter on like stuff like this. We do this. It's all interactive. You guys can talk, and I talk back, and it's fun. Very knowledgeable people over there. Okay, let's go check it out. Starting with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, this one's pretty simple. It's uh, Mitch Marner. Got to go Mitch Marner as the second best. Uh, unless somebody thinks that Tavares is the second best. Matthews is number one. Is that even disputable that Matthews is the number one? Let me know in the comment section what you think. But I think it's uh, Marner all day. Tavares at one time, maybe again. But he hasn't shown it as of late. So I'm taking Marner. Tampa Bay Lightning. This was like, gives me headaches. Oh my gosh. But it's Nikita Kucherov or Victor Hedman. Who's the best? The best winger in the game or the best defenseman? I I think defensemen are just more valuable in a sense. But, I mean, you can make a case for each. You may say centers are more valuable and you take point. But I think that's stretching it a bit. Hedman's a little more decorated with Norris trophies and stuff like that. So I'm taking Kucherov as the second best player on the Lightning. Tell me what you think, Lightning fans. Do you agree with that? Next, Winnipeg Jets. And I know there's some huge, huge Blake Wheeler fans out there that may take him as the best or second best. Uh, I still got to think that Mark Shifley is their best player, but I'm telling you, it's just like like that, 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 really close. Because I think Ehlers is the second best player on. Uh, I think Ehlers could very well, after this year, be maybe considered the best player. I, I real this kid is not a 25K, I can call him a kid. Look at me. Look at this. I can call him a kid. I say Nikolai Ehlers is the second best player on this team. Tell me what you think there, Winnipeg Jets fans. Uh, remember, no goaltenders. Goaltenders were not. you got to watch from the beginning so you know that goaltenders don't matter in this. Next, we have Dallas Stars. And uh, this was difficult. The Dallas Stars were uh, a very difficult team to choose here. I... I went with uh, Pavelski, second. 
Uh, Tyler Sagan, I'm still giving him number one. I almost wanted to take Huskin in. I think he's got to get his point production up a little bit more before I can start throwing that at him, but freaking it's hard not to. Really is. But Joe Pavelski still putting a point a game up almost at 37 years old. Plays everywhere all the time. A mo uh, leader, everything. You could almost make a case he's the best. You could also make a case for Alexander Radulov too, but I'm going with, and you could even make a case with Ropo Hints. I, I don't think he's quite there yet, but he's going to take over that spot. I'm still giving it to Sagan. I'm not going to take it away from him as number one from his injury, but it's really close. Okay, I took, so we took Pavelski there. Next, uh, Oilers. Uh, this is easy. It's Nick, Leon Dreisaitl. Just imagine being Leon Dreisaitl and being the second best player on your team. <laughs> That's crazy. It's just like uh, being uh, Nathan McKinnon and being the second plus best player from your town. That's nuts. Sidney Crosby, by the way. He's from the same town as Sidney Crosby. Uh, yeah, that's got to be it. I, if anybody has any argument with that, I don't know. It doesn't include goaltenders, remember. Next, Montreal Canadiens. Uh, again, no, we're not including goaltenders here, so Price is out of it. Um, this was tough because I want to say Gallagher all day. Suzuki is the best player on the team right now. Gallagher's the emotional leader and all of those things like that. I love him, love him, love him, love him, love him. But I'm taking Caulfield. I know. He's just one of, like he's like Kaprizov right now. Gallagher can't hold a hat to Caulfield's skill level. I might get raked over the coals because I know how much Montreal Canadiens guys love Gallagher. And you're talking about so many factors that don't actually are you don't see on paper with Gallagher. The guy is just his courage and his intensity and his defensive play and everything. Ah, I'm almost should take Gallagher because Caulfield on the defensive side of things maybe not be there yet, but he's just too special. I'm taking Caulfield. That's it. Enough. There's people that might take Petrie too. Uh, Blackhawks. By the way, this is all fun, right? We're talking fun. Banter. Tell me down in the comment section in this YouTube video what you think. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks, the second best player for the Chicago Blackhawks. It's got to be DeBrinca. And I want to say Jonathan Taves. I want to say Jonathan Taves. Because again, just like just like Gallagher, there's so many things he brings to the table. But he was injured all last year. I, mean, I got to see what he's going to be. He, his point production was dwindling. Is he going to be better now? Uh, but I'm going with Alex to bring out here. I'm putting Patrick Kane still as number one. Um, however, Patrick Kane defensively is pretty poor. But I st I'm going with to bring out enough. Enough already. Tell me what you think in the comment section, Chicago Blackhawks fans. We already did Toronto. Why do we, why do we got Toronto here? Next. Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, I still say Stone's the best. I still say Stone's the best player on this team. Shea Theodore second. Theodore also was part of my most underrated guy on the team and oh it was smith sorry shay taylor is getting to be well known now he's getting norris talk that's right it was smith but shay shay taylor is my second no it's not peter angelo i love peter close it's very close but i'm taking shay taylor tell me what you think vegas fans shay taylor peter angelo do you think stone either one of them are gonna take stone out anybody else out there no goaltenders no goaltenders. Uh, Santa or uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. Until Melkin can show that he's back from an injury, Crosby's still the best. 
if he's healthy, Malkin is second for sure. But I think Jake Gunsel's got to go right now. You got to give him the props. Putting up consistent 30 plus seasons. Uh, I'm taking Gunsel. Pittsburgh Penguins fan. What do you guys say, Latang? I mean, I like Latang, but he's slipping. He's slipping. Uh, what else? And no goaltender, which wouldn't matter anyway. You're not going to pick Jari, right? So I say Jake Gunsel. Next. Boston Bruins. This is this gives you headaches. Seriously, do we can we get to the point where we say Brad Marchand is the best def- player on the team right now? Patrice Bergeron slipped a bit, man. Let's face it. Still Selkie level ish. He doesn't have the points of before. You can make a case that Brad Marchand is Selkie level, man. Seriously. He's put he's putting up like close to 100 points a season. I, I I'm taking Patrice Bergeron as my second, and maybe you could even make a case that Charlie McAvoy can take that spot now. Ah, it might be because of my deep love for Patrice that I I just can't get myself to say Charlie McAvoy. But honestly, McAvoy was everything to that team last year. Man, oh man, oh man, and then you still got passed. <laughs> oh, ta- unbelievable. Anyways, I'm taking Bergeron for now. He's still a selkie level center, and he is the leader of this team. Straight up, no doubt about it. Spiritual leader of the team, for sure. I bet you, uh, I don't know. Uh, I might get ribbed. Tell me, Boston fans. Lay, lay it on me, man. Lay it on me down there in the comment section. Tell me how crazy I am or whatever. I love it. I love it. Okay, Washington Capitals. Backstrom. I, I just got Backstrom. It's still Ovechkin, still the best on the team. Can make it John Carlson. Mm, no, I'm going Backstrom. Backstrom just, he's so good defensively, too. That's the thing. Yeah, Backstrom, Backstrom. Enough. Tell me if you think differently. I don't think many people will think differently. And, yeah, you can't take goaltenders. So. Next. Why is it Boston again? Get out of here. Florida Panthers, second best player. Barkov's the first. Huberto is the second. Watch out for Reinhardt this year, but I got to go Huberto. Huberto for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't think there, I think there's very little argument there. Huberto is the second best Florida Panther. Tell me what you think there in the comment section, Florida Panthers fans. Blues. Um, this is tough because they've lost a lot. O'Reilly's the best. I'm not a Krug guy, and I haven't liked the way he's played in St. Louis. I think the second best player might be the one that you just picked up from St. Louis in Buknevich or Braden Shen. You can make a really good case for both. But Buknevich is a point of game player. Shen's not, but he's great defensively. I don't, you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm taking Shen. I changed it right there. Look at that, the way I do that. I changed it. St. Louis Blues, Shen. Change it. There we go. Done. I can do that. There's no rules here. Pearls are wisdom ministry. Tell me what you think, Blues fans. Goaltenders are not included in that. Uh, Colorado. I st- you got to put McKinnon as the best. McCarr, without a doubt. I mean, is there any doubt? McCarr? Landis Gog? No. I mean, I love Landis Gog. He's captain and everything, but Makar is a beast, 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 beast. Probably on. I if you're gonna put any bets, down, I don't know what they're gonna give you, but I'd be taking. Uh, I would be taking uh, Makar as for the Norris issue. Next, 
LA Kings, uh, still Dowdy. I, I did not think I'd be taking Dowdy as the second best player here now. I thought that there would be somebody standing out over Dowdy. And you can make a case that their new acquisition in Philip Dano would be that guy. But uh, I, I'm still going to roll with, because Dano is Selkie level, but Dowdy does have does have a Norse on his record, and he put up 34. He still puts up good points. He's still a very good defenseman. I actually am surprised. There might be some guys here that you may tell me, LA Kings fans, that I, I don't know what I'm talking about here. You might poo-poo all over this. Tell me in the comment section, and it can't be a goaltender, right? Can't be a goaltender. So no Peterson. Otherwise, I probably would have took him as the best? No, second best. I would have took Peterson. San Jose Sharks. Well, no Evander Kane. Can't take it. He was their best player on the ice, anyways. <laughs> uh, do we still put Logan Couture there? I think it's a toss up between Couture and Hurdle or Meyer. Meyer had a tough year last year. Hurdle's still putting up a point a game. I almost think that he's better than Couture right now. I do. It's close. But I got Hurdle down as my as the second. It's just hard to not say Couture. It's hard to get it out of my mouth. What do you guys think down there? Uh, can't be Carlson Burns now. Next. Philadelphia Flyers. And uh, is that right? What did I have? Who's their, oh, yeah. I got Couturier as their best player. Claude Giroux is almost there, but I got to go with Provorov. Ivan Provorov. I think some people might think he's their best player, but I think most people would say Sean Couturier is the best player. I'm going with Provorov. Next. Arizona Coyotes. Uh, this was really tough. I mean, who do you really take? With the Coyotes, uh, without a doubt, the the who's the best is is easy. That is Chikrin all day long. Then it's between Keller and Dvorak, and I'm going to go Dvorak because he's a center. Keller, I want to go Keller, but if if he had a center that is not like Christian Dvorak is a good two way guy, probably should be a second line center. It's pretty bad when the second best player. Is really a second line center, maybe even a third. It's just Clayton Keller doesn't give that much anywhere else if he's not scoring. If he had a really good center, though, he probably would pot a crap load. And he's only 23. He's getting up there. But I'm taking Christian Dvorak. Tell me what you guys think, Arizona fans, on that one. Uh, the Rangers. This I, I'm doing this with my friend Danny right now. He can't be on yet, but he will be on. And the uh, question is, is Panarin the best player or is Fox the best player? I mean, I, I, I got Fox as the second best player, but I, I, I could see how you could totally make a case that he's the best. But our teammate Panarin has put up close to 100 points. And he's been around the league a little bit longer. He he really one of the he's helped out Sabanajad so much. Uh, I'm taking Fox, but just barely, just barely. Tell me what you think, Rangers fans. Which one? Who do you think is the second best player on your team? Uh, Seattle. Uh, it's hard to find a best player right now. And, and it can't be goaltenders, Seattle fans. It's the skaters, second best. I should say skaters. That's what I should have said. Um, I got to go with Giordano as the second best. I'm taking – is that who I picked? Kraken. Giordano, yeah. I'm saying Jaden Schwartz. He's been very injured. But when he's not injured – He's a beast. You're going to love him. Mark Giordano, it's just, he's lost his legs a little bit. Uh, 
It's tough. I almost took Carson Soucy, actually. Watch that guy. He's so underrated. When On my underrated one, Soucy was the guy for Seattle. Love that guy. He could definitely... I'm, I'm really excited to see what he does for that team. Philadelphia, or sorry, Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, it, Wierenski's the best player on the team. Um, I got to go with Patrick Lyonne for now, just for talent. But I know he had a bad year last year. But overall, skill-wise and everything, Patrick Lyonne is far and away better than anybody on the team. Uh, however, I could see, because Boone Jenner has been such a spiritual leader for this team, but I'm taking Lyonie. I'm taking Lyonie. Next, Calgary Flames. It's between Kachuk and Goudreau. Simple as that. Um, the second best player. I got to flip my thing here. Second best player. Uh, Johnny Goudreau, when he's really playing out his best, is I got to take Goudreau as the second best player. But. I mean, when he's playing all out, he's the best. No doubt about it. It's just, it hasn't been going for him the last two years. I think a lot of that has to do with he's just too much of a workload on Goudreau with the rest of what the way their rest of their lineup was made up. So, um, but Kachuk is all around everything. Score points, plays defense, fights, all that. I, I'm it, maybe it's just my personal opinion more than the actual truth here. Maybe it's just because I love Matthew Kachuk so much, but let me know in the comment section what you think. New York Islanders. Um, this is tough because there's a lot of people that believe that Pelich is the best. I've been talking to Islanders fans a lot since I started doing these videos. I'm still going with Matthew Barzal. I think if Matthew Barzal had more creative players to play with, he would look a lot better. His point production would look a lot better. Ah, he's just he's stunning to watch. But I do love Adam Pellich. I do. I love him a lot. But I got him as the second best player on this team. Goaltenders don't count. Goaltenders don't count. It's just skaters. Uh, New Jersey Devils. I wanted so bad to take Hughes here. Nico has got the reins right now. I think Hughes is, Hughes is going to take it away from him, though. I do this year. But he hasn't yet. And I, Dougie Hamilton has been a Norris Trophy candidate for like two of the last three years. I got to go with Dougie Hamilton. And he could be the best, actually. He could be the best. This is going to be the year where he really shows what he really is. But right now, Nico Heischer is a wonderful two-way player. He was injured last year. I think he's going to bounce back, be back to his close to point to game self. I'm taking him as the best. Hamilton as the second best in New Jersey. No goaltenders. Devils fans, no goaltenders. This is just skaters. Uh, Carol Carolina. The second best, I went, I went Aho. I still say Slavin's the best player on the team. That defense is absolutely unbelievable because of Slavin. It's like a hair, so close. You could easily, if somebody said, I take Aho, I'd be like, yeah, okay. If somebody says, I take Slavin, I'd be like, okay. Uh, Svechnikov is going to be in there, but he hasn't put it all there yet. Can't give it to him yet. And I think Aho will definitely take it away from Slavin. So close. But I'm going with Slavin. Or going with Slavin as the best. Aho as the second best. There we go. You got that? Got that, Carolina fans? Tell me in the comment section what you think of that. Uh, next, we have the Vancouver Canucks. And Peterson's the best. Besser, I believe, is the second best. Horvat, you can make a really good case for Horvat. He is. He plays against every the team's top lines all the time. Probably, definitely, their best defensive forward. But Brock Besser's shot is just unbelievable, and I don't even think we've seen 
the best of Besser yet. Uh, so I'm taking Besser. No goaltenders. Otherwise, I probably would have, maybe would have took Demko. Uh, maybe. Next, Nashville Predators. Or sorry. Anaheim Ducks. Right, Anaheim Ducks. Uh, so tough here. The, this team is just not good. Uh, no goaltenders, by the way. Gibson is their best player, but we're not doing goaltenders. So uh, I say Fowler is still probably their best player, and I would have to say it's either Raquel or Lindholm. I'm going with Lindholm, though. I go Lindholm as the second best. Raquel's just kind of fallen down a bit, but a lot of that is who he has to play with. I seriously think if they had more skill in that lineup, Raquel would look a lot better. Uh, tough one, though. That was a tough one. Anaheim, tell me what you think there in the comment section. Wild. Um, it's Kaprizov is... What am I doing? Nashville, sorry. Nashville, sorry, not Wild. Nashville Predators. Um, Josie's their best. Forsberg is their second. Pretty clear. Anybody think anything different, tell me in the comment section, but I don't see it, and it can't be the goaltender. No goaltenders. Next, uh, Minnesota, I got Spurgeon, Kaprizov first, Spurgeon second. Um, a good friend of mine who's a huge Minnesota fan, swears up and down, it's Fiala. But I think Spurgeon is the most one of the most underrated defensemen in the league. Uh, doesn't get anywhere near enough credit. Plus, he's their captain. I'm taking Spurgeon. Maybe you guys think Fiala. You guys think anybody else besides that? Eric Eck or somebody like that? Let me know in the comment section, Minnesota Wild fans. Next. Uh, wings. It, I This is, it's, it's for Anna. But you could really make a case for uh, Philip Peronic. Because I'm, I'm assuming we're putting Dylan Larkin as, a num as, as number one. But I'm gonna say Jacob Brana because I, he, I, I always thought if he played in Washington, he would have been a point of game player a long time ago. I don't know why they didn't play him higher there, um, and I, I think he's gonna be. He might even be outperform Dylan Larkin this year, but right now, Detroit fans, I got Jacob Brana, and you can't take goaltenders, not that you would right now. I don't think. Oh, Nedeljkovic maybe. But. Uh, next, the Sabre, or Ottawa Senators, I'm, I love Brady Kachuk too much to not, I, you could really make a case that Thomas Shabbat is their best player. I know you can, I just love Brady too much to do it, I can't do it, I can't do it in my soul, I can't. Shabbat, second best player, I got Shabbat. Tell me what you think, Ottawa, Shabbat, or... Kachuk or somebody else can't be a goaltender. Not that you would pick a goaltender. Anyways, I doubt it very much. Anyways. Finally, and we're taking Jack Eichel out of it because he's not part of the team. We're not doing Jack Eichel. So that makes it a little more difficult. But I, I, I even though he doesn't play all that well defensively, I got to put Rasmus Dahlin as their best player if you take Eichel out of it. And you can't take goaltenders. Not that you would, because you don't have one yet, really. 40-year-old Anderson's going to be your number one goaltender, really? I am taking Casey Middlestat. Oh, wait. Victor Olofsson. No, I, I honestly think in the second half, Casey Middlestat played better than Olofsson. Uh, so right now, if you told me, I think Casey Middlestat's the second best player in Buffalo. Let me know, guys, what you think down there in the comment section. And that is my full 42. We got her all done. Uh, tell, come to, oh, uh, I got some, I got letters here. In fact, this is the reason why I did this. I had a letter from Team Shi Kataya from Japan. And, uh, How do I? I can't even read my own writing. Jaime Lundberg. 
how many from from Israel are saying, could you do, both of them say, could you do the second best player on every team? And uh, we're doing it. Thanks for your letters, by the way. Guido goes down every day to the mailroom and he brings up the sack of letters and he pours them all over the letter table. And Helen, who grinds up our pearls and sends you and gives you the My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklaces that you get when you subscribe, subscribe right now. Subscribe to the channel, yo, right now. And I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace, pearl cup to your door with Hernandez and Melissa, who are the Perlocopter drivers, they will send them off to you. And uh, we we do a little Perlo dance, all of us. And then we pick out the letters and we read them and there's much frolic. We love it, so do it. Um, so for you guys, I'm going to Japan and Israel. And they also ask for uh, red and blue pearls. I guess I better show you guys I'm doing this. Red and blue pearls. So I got some red and blue pearls for you. I did, You didn't see what I did when we did the pearl dance because I didn't bring it in here. It's like this. Like that. And now for the pearls. All to Japan and Israel. Wow. I had to throw them really hard. Because that's a long ways away. All right, that's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give today. People ask me, what do you mean by full 42? Well, you know, when they say, in, in, when they talk to the players and they say, you know, we're going to give our full 110% and all that. Well, I've only got 42%, but I give it all to you. That's my full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy my live later. Okay, bye.